Bonjour Genie Engineers! Welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to cover a vertical curve problem. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. So we're giving a 4% grade that's going upwards, like sh we show here, and it meets a falling grade of 2.5%. So don't forget the negative. Make sure you uh, put the negative because the grade is going downwards. Now at PVI, where we're giving the station and the elevation, we we're giving this length from PVC to PVT, which is 1,400 feet, and we need to find the elevation at this station right here. So before we start, I just want to say that I got a very similar question on my test, so make sure you guys have a good understanding of this problem. So the first thing I would do is look up the equation so that we can solve for this elevation. So if you go to page 182, you'll see here it's given to you the curve elevation which is equals to 1 PVC plus G1X plus AX squared. So that's the equation we're going to use. That's the equation that you should use whenever you are asked to find an elevation at a given point. Okay, so let's uh, let's start by writing the equation down. So we have Y, let's call it X instead of 58 because it's too long. So let's just donate it as X is equal to Y PVC plus G1 times x plus g2 minus g1 divide that by 2l and this whole term is multiplied by x squared so let me just make it clear this is the the, the elevation we're looking for this right here so this is yx so assuming that our station is at this point okay so elevation at PVC is not given to us. We were only giving the elevation at PVI. We don't have X. So X is pretty much the distance from PVC to the given station. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. It's very important. So this is not your X where the given station that is not your X. So your X is this distance from PVC to where your given station is that this is X. Okay, so let's start solving for those two terms and then the rest is just really easy, just plug in. So, y PVC, note that this is the same as elevation at PVC. They're the same exact thing. So, usually elevation is donated as y and then station is x. So, in the previous video, I provided some equations that you should remember for the test. If you haven't watched it, I will leave the link above somewhere here. You can just click on that and it will take you directly to do, to that video. So, on there, we provided the equation for elevation at PVC and the elevation at PVT, also the station at PVC and station at PVT, because these equations are not given to you on the NCS uh, handbook. So make sure you check it out and make sure you write them down and try to remember them for the test because you will use them. So as we mentioned in the previous video, the elevation at PVC is equal to the elevation at PVI minus G1 times L divided by two. So it, this, this is half of this length. So let me write that down. So we have elevation at PVI minus G1 times L divided by two. So the elevation at PVI is given as 95 feet minus G1, which is 4%. So this is positive, make sure you keep it positive. If it's negative, you have to write a negative, and you multiply it by L, which is 14. This is station, and you divide it by two. So note here, guys, I wanna also point something important here. If you're using percentage, you have to use this in station. If you divide this by 100%, then the length you can use it in feet. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is, this is the same as, I'm going to say or, let's do it in a different color so I don't confuse you guys. So this is the same, I'm going to write same as 95 minus four divided by 100 multiplied by 1400 divided by two. So this will give you pretty much the same answer. So just keep that in mind. So you have to either 
divided by 100, the percentage, or, and then uh, you use this as in feet, this is feet, or you use this in station, and this has to be in percentage. Okay, so um, if you plug in this, you should get an answer of 67 feet. So we found our elevation for PVC. Now we just have to calculate for X. So we said X is going to be the giving station. And we have to subtract the station at PVC, right? So, which means I need to calculate PVC first before we can actually solve for X. So let's start, uh, let's pick another color. Let's do green. So the station at PVC, again, this is not mentioned in the reference handbook. So make sure you check out my other video where I uh, provide all the equations that you have to remember. So the station at PVC is equal to the station at PVI minus L over two. So you take this length, you divide it by two and you subtract that so you get the L the station at PVC. Okay, so the station at PVI was given as 60, so we have 60 station minus L, which is 14 station divided by 2. So if you plug in this, you will get an answer of 53 station. Now we can go back here and do 58 minus 53, and this gives you 5 station. So we found X, we found uh, the elevation at PVC. All we gotta do now is plug in the answers in the equation. So uh, let me rewrite the equation so it's easier for us to see. Okay, so the elevation at PVC was equal to 67 feet plus G1 is 4% times X, which is five station. Note here, guys, same thing. You use percentage, you have to use station plus G2. Now G2 was minus, remember, because it's going downward. So you have to carry the negative. So we have minus 2.5 minus four, and this is again percentage. Here, G1 was going upward, so it's positive, but we have a negative here, so it's gonna be minus. Now, this term is divided by two times L in station, which is four station, because I use percentage here. Now, this whole term is multiplied by X squared, which is five station squared. Now, if you plug in this, you should get an answer of 81.2. So that is your elevation. So another thing I would like to do here, even though it wasn't really asked in the question, is find the elevation at PVT, which is this point right here. I wanna show you guys how we use these equations that is mentioned in the previous video, and they're not provided on the um, reference handbook. So I just wanna make sure you guys see how we use them. So the elevation at PVT, is equal to the elevation at PVI plus G2 times L over 2. So note here, guys, to find PVC, we take the elevation at PVI and we do minus G1, grade 1, times L over 2. Now to find the elevation at PVT, we actually take the elevation at PV1, PVI and we add the, grade, the second grade, G2, and we multiply it by L over two. Okay, so the elevation at PVI is equal to 95. That one was given to us. Now G2 is minus 2.5, so make sure you guys carry the negative, and you multiply by L, which is 14. Again, we're going to use station because here we kept it in percentage, and you divide this by two. So if you plug in this number, you should get an answer of 77.5 feet. So that's your elevation at PVT. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget, problem a day keeps the F away. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.